Crews, they have a big job ahead as they work to remove wreckage from a deadly plane crash. That plane is under 120 feet of water right here at this lake. It went down on Saturday near the Long Point Recreation Area at Lake Hartwell, not far from the South Carolina state line. Channel 2's Brian Mims went to Lake Hartwell where divers are still working to recover the pilot. The wreckage is way out there, barely visible from where I'm standing at the Elrod Ferry boat ramp. As inviting as the lake surface looks, what lies beneath is a much different story. From News Drone 2 flying over Lake Hartwell, not far from the dam, you'll notice a bright orange buoy. 120 feet below that buoy, a plane is entangled in trees on the pitch black lake bottom. Given the extreme depth, it required specialized divers to go down there last weekend. You've got... Um probably two two foot visibility in front of you about about max mm -hmm. so you, they're having to use flashlights and, and a lot of feel and touch to to see where they're at captain chris carroll of the hart county sheriff's office says because of the trees divers could not open the doors and reach the pilot the ntsb has given approval to remove the plane here's a picture of the actual aircraft from flight tracker a twin engine beechcraft b-55 which seats six people Local and federal officials are now working with a salvage company to remove the plane. Captain Carroll says the process would use large airbags to lift the wreckage to the surface. They would go out on a boat, they would um, send divers down and attach airbags to the plane okay. and then fill those airbags from the bottom um, and bring the plane up in stages mm -hmm. due to the different pressure changes. The identity of the pilot, who was the only person on board, has not been released. Some people fishing on the lake saw the plane crash around noon on Saturday. They basically said they saw the plane circling. It was a cloudy day, saw the plane circling. All of a sudden, the plane shot up into the clouds and then came back down in a, in a spiral spin and, and hit the water. The Hart County Sheriff's Office expects the removal process to begin in the next day or two. The wreckage will then go to Atlanta as part of the NTSB's crash investigation. Reporting from Hart County on the shores of Lake Hartwell, Brian Mims, Channel 2 Action.